Hey Critical Blasters, RJ Carter here, and we're still getting the Critical Blast podcasting studio set up, but we're going to give things a little bit of a go because tonight is Riverdale night, and I want to confess a little secret. I love Riverdale. I know, I've reviewed it, and I've said this is not the Archie comics we're used to. This is not the goofy Archie, the ever-hungry, my pal buddy Jughead. This is something that subverts the expectations. Now, I try never to miss an episode, and I'm going to be there tonight, so I expect you'll be there with me. But I do resent Riverdale. Now, let me explain what I mean by this. The show itself is fine, but the main showrunner is Robert Aguirre Sacasa, and he is going to town with this Riverdale thing. Good for him, bad for me, because I was already a fan of Roberto Aguirre Sacasa. You see, not that long ago, comic books used to be good. And one of the very, very best comic books out there was this thing called Afterlife with Archie. This was Archie Meets the Walking Dead by way of H.P. Lovecraft. This was a thing of beauty. The story starts with Jughead rushing to Sabrina's house with a bleeding hot dog in his arms. Not the kind of hot dog you eat, his pet hot dog. Do you pay no attention to the show at all? Hot dog has been hit by a car. Right away, the storytelling style is something that we had never seen in Archie before. This was serious, this was drama. Now, Jughead is the only one of the Riverdale crew that knows that Sabrina and her aunts are witches. So he goes to them to have hot dog helped. But Sabrina's aunt say he's gone too far. He's already quit breathing. He's dead. Nothing can be done for Hot Dog now. So Jughead leaves. But Sabrina, she decides she can take things just a scooch farther than her aunt's will allow. And she gets the Necronomicon and tells Jughead to meet her at a place. And they resurrect Hot Dog. Zombie hot dog. What kind of kids like zombie hot dog? Well, Jughead does. Even though hot dog bites him on the arm. And that's the way the beginning of the end starts. Whatever virus is in hot dog is now in Jughead. Jughead becomes deadhead. He's a zombie. And shortly afterward, so are several of the other Riverdale crew. Riverdale becomes a ghost town. In fact, I'll read the back cover. This is how the end of the world begins. All hell breaks loose when a fateful accident sets a series of events in motion that will threaten the town of Riverdale like never before. When the dead begin to rise, craving human flesh, it's up to Archie, Betty, and Veronica to fight for their lives against the zombie hordes led by their former pal, Jughead. Harvey Award-winning writer, Roberto Aguirre Sacasa, and Eisner-winning artist, Francesco Francavilla, bring the apocalypse to the world of Archie in a tale that is both gruesome and heartbreaking. And God damn it was. This was a serious drama. This made you feel for these characters. When... When the characters die and become zombies, you're like, oh my God, they took that one. They took Archie's dad. They took Pop Tate. They took Moose and Midge. And that was something because where this all really begins is with Reggie Mantle. You see, somebody was driving the car that night that hit hot dog. 
and it was Reggie. And Reggie's carrying that guilt through the whole series here. But Reggie also has, as we know for years of reading Archie comics, a desire for Midge. And when Midge makes a play for Reggie and tells him that she and he can be together in a non-zombie fashion, all he has to do is one thing, he agrees to do it. All Reggie has to do is kill Betty Cooper. No problem, he says. Big problem. Big, big problem. You see, Sabrina has been punished by being sent to an alternate dimension, a very Lovecraftian dimension. She's being married off to Cthulhu. And that's what's causing all the rest of the chaos in the world. Josie and the Pussycats are vampires. That's not the problem. The problem is that Reggie Mantle says, no problem. And that's part three of the Betty R.I.P. arc. This is where Archie has proposed to Betty. As the remaining survivors of Riverdale are in the woods, living off the land and trying to survive the marching zombie hordes, trying to get to safety. Veronica's overheard this. She's not too happy with it because she still wants Archie for herself. And Reggie, wanting Midge, agrees to kill Betty Cooper in part three of Betty R.I.P. And then came Riverdale. And then never came part four Betty R.I.P. There is no final issue of After Larf with Archie. And that is why I resent Riverdale. I love the show. I love the supernatural elements they seem to be putting into it now. Even though they're going the Betty Cooper, Nancy Drew way of explaining away Edgar Evernever's apparently supernatural abilities to bring back dead people. Ah, oh, that really wasn't Betty's alter ego, was it? I wonder if it's really Jason Blossom in the guise of the uh, Gargoyle King. We'll see tonight. Anyway, I fully recommend Afterlife with Archie if you don't mind reading nine issues, ten issues of a series that will never, ever deliver the final chapter. Riverdale's on tonight, guys. I'll be there. Maybe I'll tune back in after that. Thank you.